Are you familiar with the mumps? This viral infection may sound like a thing of the past, but it's still around today and can, can cause serious health problems. In fact, recent years have seen a resurgence of mumps cases around the world, including in the United States. Mumps cases in the United States were at an all-time low in 2015, but there has been a recent uptick in cases in recent years. In 2019, there were 1,546 reported cases of mumps in the U.S. In that same year worldwide, there were an estimated 651,000 reported cases of mumps, according to the World Health Organization. But what exactly is the mumps, and how does it affect our bodies? Well, in this video, we'll take a closer look at the science behind the mumps virus, its history, and its impact on human health. Mumps orthobula virus, known by its common name mumps, is a viral disease that affects the salivary glands. This virus has a unique structure consisting of a single-stranded RNA genome enclosed in a lipid envelope covered in spikes made of viral proteins. These spikes allow the virus to attach to and infect host cells. Mumps has been documented in humans for over 2,500 years, with the first known outbreak occurring on the Greek island of Thassos in the 5th century BC, recorded by Hippocrates. It wasn't until the early 20th century that researchers began to gain a better understanding of the biology and transmission of the virus. In 1934, a British virologist named John Enders discovered that the mumps could be grown in human tissue cultures, opening up new avenues for research into the virus. Over the next several decades, scientists made significant advances in understanding how the virus replicates, how it interacts with host cells, and how it causes the symptoms of infection. In the 1960s, researchers developed the first vaccines against mumps, which proved to be highly effective in preventing infection. Prior to the introduction of the mumps vaccine in the United States in 1967, there were an estimated 186,000 cases of mumps each year. Mumps likely evolved from ancestral monkeys, and it is believed to have co-evolved with humans in order to avoid the immune system. The virus is highly contagious and spreads easily through respiratory droplets when an infected person coughs or sneezes. It can also be spread by direct contact with saliva or mucus from an infected person, as well as by touching contaminated surfaces such as door handles, toys, and other objects. Mumps is not only highly contagious, but it can also lead to serious long-term health problems, making prevention crucial. Complications can arise from mumps that affect other parts of the body, such as the pancreas, the kidneys, and the heart. In rare cases, mumps can cause encephalitis, an inflammation of the brain that can result in seizures, deafness, or even death. Mumps can be especially dangerous for pregnant women, as it can increase the risk of miscarriage or premature birth. It can also cause fetal malformation, and in rare cases, stillbirth. What makes mumps particularly concerning is its ability to survive outside the body for a short time, meaning it can persist on surfaces and potentially infect others who come into contact with those surfaces. This is why it is so important to practice good hygiene habits, such as washing your hands frequently and avoiding close contact with people who are sick. Once contracted, symptoms usually appear within two to three weeks, including fever, headache, muscle aches, tiredness, loss of appetite, and the classic swollen jaw and puffy cheeks due to swelling in one or both parotid salivary glands. While mumps is not lethal, it can lead to serious complications such as meningitis, inflammation of the ovaries or testicles, and even deafness. In fact, one in 10 children with mumps can develop meningitis, and one out of every four teenage or adult men with mumps can develop swelling in the testicles, potentially leading to infertility. Mumps is tissue-specific to the parotid salivary glands, although rare cases of other organs and tissues like testicles can occur. Unfortunately, there is no specific treatment for mumps, and recovery time ranges from 3 to 10 days. Rest, ibuprofen, cold cloths, or ice packs, and drinking more fluids can help to alleviate these symptoms. Despite the fact that mumps has been around for thousands of years, it was not until the 1940s that a vaccine was developed to prevent it. Today, the measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine, MMR, is the most effective way to protect against mumps, measles, and rubella. It is important to note that the vaccine does not provide complete immunity, but it can greatly reduce the likelihood of contracting the virus and experiencing severe symptoms. The MMR vaccine is the most effective way to prevent mumps. The vaccine is 88% effective after two doses and 78% effective after one dose. Children aged 5 to 14, unvaccinated individuals, 
African Americans and Hispanics are individuals most susceptible to mumps. Today, much research is focused on developing better diagnostic tests and improving vaccination strategies for mumps. One of the challenges in controlling mumps outbreaks is identifying and diagnosing cases early on, as symptoms can be easily confused with those of other respiratory illnesses. Scientists are working to develop more accurate diagnostic tests that can detect the virus more quickly and with greater precision. Additionally, efforts are being made to improve the MMR vaccine, which has been highly effective in preventing mumps, but is not yet 100% effective with the high mutation rates of the RNA virus mumps. Researchers are exploring ways to enhance the vaccine's effectiveness by adjusting the vaccine dosage or adding adjuvants to the vaccine to improve the body's immune response. Another area of research is focused on understanding the genetic variations of the mumps virus and how these variations may affect its ability to infect and spread to other potential hosts. This knowledge could help inform the development of more targeted treatments and vaccines. But fear not. We have the power to protect ourselves and those around us from this viral menace. Wash your hands, cover your mouth when you cough, and please, 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 for the love of all things holy, don't share drinks with your infected friends. Stay safe and stay healthy.